Hello, students and viewers. Today we will talk about the female reproductive system. This system is responsible for creating life, regulating hormones, and enabling sexual function. Let's start with the ovaries, two small, oval-shaped organs located on either side of the uterus. These remarkable organs perform two critical functions. Egg production, oogenesis ovaries produce eggs, or oocytes, through a process that begins at puberty and continues until menopause. Hormone production, ovaries produce estrogen and progesterone, hormones that regulate the menstrual cycle, support fetal development, and maintain female characteristics. Next, we have the fallopian tubes, narrow tubes that connect the ovaries to the uterus. These tubes play a vital role in fertilization. Egg transportation, during ovulation, the fallopian tubes allow the egg to travel from the ovary to the uterus. Fertilization, if a sperm meets an egg in the fallopian tube, fertilization occurs, resulting in a zygote. Now, let's move on to the uterus, a muscular organ that supports fetal development during pregnancy. Implantation, a fertilized egg implants in the uterine lining, endometrium, where it develops into a fetus. Pregnancy, the uterus expands and nourishes the growing fetus throughout pregnancy. Childbirth, the uterus contracts to push the baby out during labor. The cervix, the lower part of the uterus, plays a crucial role in reproduction. Mucus production, the cervix produces mucus that helps sperm reach the egg. Dilation, during childbirth, the cervix dilates to allow the baby to pass through. The vagina, a muscular and elastic tube, connects the cervix to the outside of the body. Sexual intercourse, the vagina receives the penis during sexual intercourse. Birth canal, the vagina serves as the birth canal during childbirth. The vulva, the external female genital area, includes labia, majora and minora folds of skin that protect the vagina and clitoris. Clitoris, a small, highly sensitive organ that responds to sexual stimulation. Opening of the vagina, introitus the entrance to the vagina. Finally, the mammary glands, located in the breasts, produce milk for nursing, lactation. The menstrual cycle, a hormonal cycle, prepares the body for potential pregnancy. Menstruation, period shedding of the uterine lining. Follicular phase, growth and maturation of eggs in the ovaries. Ovulation, release of a mature egg. Luteal phase, preparation of the uterus for implantation. In conclusion, the female reproductive system is a complex, highly specialized system that enables sexual function, reproduction, and overall health. Now in the video next we will be doing 50 questions and answers about female reproductive system. Q1. What is the main function of the female reproductive system? A1. The main function is to produce eggs, support fetal development, and enable sexual function. Q2. What are the two main parts of the female reproductive system? A2. The two main parts are the reproductive organs, ovaries, fallopian tubes, uterus, cervix, vagina, and the breasts. Q3. What do the ovaries produce? A3. The ovaries produce eggs, oocytes, and hormones, estrogen and progesterone. Q4. What is the purpose of the fallopian tubes? A4. The fallopian tubes allow the egg to travel from the ovary to the uterus and facilitate fertilization. Q5. What is the uterus? A5. The uterus is a muscular organ that supports fetal development during pregnancy. Q6. What is the cervix? A6. The cervix is the lower part of the uterus that opens into the vagina. Q7. What is the vagina? A7. The vagina is a muscular, elastic tube that connects the cervix to the outside of the body. Q8. What is the vulva? A8. The vulva is the external female genital area, including the labia, clitoris, and opening of the vagina. Q9. What are the mammary glands? A9. The mammary glands are located in the breasts and produce milk for nursing. Q10. What is the menstrual cycle? A10. The menstrual cycle is a hormonal cycle that prepares the body for potential pregnancy. Q11. What is ovulation? A11. Ovulation is the release of a mature egg from the ovary. Q12. What is fertilization? A12. Fertilization occurs when a sperm meets an egg in the fallopian tube. Q13. What is implantation? A13. Implantation occurs when a fertilized egg attaches to the uterine lining. Q14. What is the purpose of the breasts? A14. The breasts produce milk for nursing. Q15. What is menstruation? A15. Menstruation is the shedding of the uterine lining. Q16. What is the average length of a menstrual cycle? A16. The average length is 28 days, but can vary from woman to woman. Q17. What is PMS? A17. 
PMS, premenstrual syndrome, is a set of physical and emotional symptoms that occur before menstruation. Q18. What is a pap smear? A18. A pap smear is a test used to screen for cervical cancer. Q19. What is a mammogram? A19. A mammogram is an X-ray of the breasts used to screen for breast cancer. Q20. What is the recommended age for first pap smear? A20. The recommended age is 21 years old. Q21. How often should a woman have a pap smear? A21. A woman should have a pap smear every three years if normal. Q22. What is the recommended age for first mammogram? A22. The recommended age is 40 years old. Q23. How often should a woman have a mammogram? A23. A woman should have a mammogram every year if normal. Q24. What is the purpose of the pelvic exam? A24. The pelvic exam is used to check for any abnormalities in the reproductive organs. Q25. What is the purpose of the breast exam? A25. The breast exam is used to check for any abnormalities in the breasts. Q26. What is a yeast infection? A26. A yeast infection is a fungal infection that occurs in the vagina. Q27. What is a urinary tract infection, UTI? A27. A UTI is an infection that occurs in the urinary tract. Q28. What is the difference between a vaginal infection and a UTI? A28. A vaginal infection occurs in the vagina, while a UTI occurs in the urinary tract. Q29. What is the purpose of contraception? A29. Contraception is used to prevent pregnancy. Q30. What are the different types of contraception? A30. Types include hormonal methods, pill, patch, ring, barrier methods, condom, diaphragm, and long-acting reversible contraceptives, IUD, implant. Q31. What is the pill? A31. The pill is a hormonal contraceptive that prevents ovulation. Q32. What is the patch? A32. The patch is a hormonal contraceptive that sticks to the skin. Q33. What is the ring? A33. The ring is a hormonal contraceptive that is inserted into the vagina. Q34. What is an IUD? A34. An IUD, intrauterine device, is a small, T-shaped device inserted into the uterus to prevent pregnancy. Q35. What is the implant? A35. The implant is a small, flexible rod inserted under the skin of the upper arm to prevent pregnancy. Q36. What is sterilization? A36. Sterilization is a permanent form of contraception that prevents fertilization. Q37. What is vasectomy? A37. Vasectomy is a surgical procedure that cuts or blocks the vas deferens to prevent sperm from leaving the penis. Q38. What is tubal ligation? A38. Tubal ligation is a surgical procedure that cuts or blocks the fallopian tubes to prevent the egg from reaching the uterus. Q39. What is the menstrual cup? A39. The menstrual cup is a small, bell-shaped cup inserted into the vagina to collect menstrual fluid. Q40. What is the difference between a menstrual cup and a tampon? A40. A menstrual cup collects fluid, while a tampon absorbs fluid. Q41. What is endometriosis? A41. Endometriosis is a condition where tissue similar to the uterine lining grows outside the uterus. Q42. What is fibroids? A42. Fibroids are non-cancerous growths that develop in the uterus. Q43. What is ovarian cysts? A43. Ovarian cysts are fluid-filled sacs that develop on the ovaries. Q44. What is polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS? A44. PCOS is a hormonal disorder that affects ovulation and menstruation. Q45. What is vaginal dryness? A45. Vaginal dryness is a common symptom of menopause that can cause discomfort during sex. Q46. What is the difference between a vaginal infection and a sexually transmitted infection, STI? A46. A vaginal infection occurs when bacteria or yeast overgrow in the vagina, while an STI is caused by a virus or bacteria transmitted through sexual contact. Q47. What is the human papillomavirus, HPV? A47. HPV is a virus that can cause genital warts and cervical cancer. Q48. What is the difference between a screening test and a diagnostic test? A48. A screening test detects potential health issues, while a diagnostic test confirms a specific diagnosis. Q49. What is the importance of regular checkups? A49. Regular checkups enable early detection and prevention of health issues. Q50. 
Q50. What is the key to maintaining good reproductive health? A 50. The key is practicing safe sex, getting regular checkups, and being aware of one's body and health. Thanks for watching, check the playlist for all these kinds of videos, and please subscribe the channel.